Hello everyone, my name's James. I'm the vicar here at St Peter and St Paul's Church in the heart of Bromley. You join me after a really busy week. Um, I've been here in church all week um, decorating trees for our Christmas tree festival. Um, you can see a lovely example here next to me. Um, according to my phone, I've managed to walk something like 35 miles up and down um, this church over the week, getting things ready and getting things in order. It's been a great effort, um, but really worth it because the church looks amazing. And it says something about just how special we think this time of year is by the effort we go um, to decorate and to celebrate um, Christmas here in our church. But there has been a bit of a downside, if I'm honest, um, because I've been here um, doing things like this. It means I haven't been at home um, doing anything to get ready to celebrate Christmas with my family. Um, we do have a tree, but it's sitting um, undecorated and bare in the corner of our living room, looking a bit um, sad and lonely um, and waiting for something to happen. I'm sure I'll get round to it eventually. That lack of preparedness is probably the same for most clergy across the country at this time. In fact, there are memes that go around on Facebook um, saying, are you ready for Christmas? Uh, and the answer being, no, I live in a vicarage. There are so many other things to do that we just don't get the time necessarily to sort things out at home. And if we're honest, that's true not just for clergy, but actually probably for most of us. We all have incredibly busy lives, lots of things to sort and to do, lots of competing demands that actually the extra requirements to get ready for Christmas sometimes can seem a bit much. We all have probably in our minds that idealised vision of what Christmas should look like, the things we want to do, the things we want to share, the food we want to eat. But actually the reality often is quite different as we rush to get it all together and to celebrate something. But actually the hope and the good news of Christmas is um, that actually no matter where we are in life, what um, busyness and chaos and disorder we're dealing with, um, that actually Christmas is there for us in the midst of that. The first Christmas story is one where nobody was ready for what was going to happen. Mary and Joseph um, were probably looking forward to welcoming their first child um, in their home, in a community they knew in Nazareth, to have that help and support over those vital first days and weeks. And yet they found themselves instead having to make the long journey down to Bethlehem um, to give um, birth in a space that wasn't their own um, and to navigate those difficult weeks um, without the help and support they were probably banking on. Their preparations came to not much because the situation became so very different. That sense of things happening, um, not in a way that was ideal or intended, runs through the entire Christmas story. We see the shepherds, um, after hearing the good news from the angels about the birth of Jesus, just running down into the town, abandoning their flocks. They didn't plan ahead. They didn't make sure that they had um, cover to make sure the sheep were going to be safe overnight. They just went um, to see the new king. Nobody was prepared for what was going to happen. Nobody was ready. One of the titles that Jesus is given um, in the Bible is Emmanuel, God is with us. And that means that God promises to be with us um, not when we feel we're ready, when we've done the right things, when we've made the right preparations. Actually, the heart of Christmas is God promises to be with us amidst the hurry, the bustle, the last minute actions, the things that just happen amidst the unexpected events. Amidst the chaos and busyness in, of life, God promises to come and to be with us. It doesn't matter what we've done. It doesn't matter how ready we feel. Christmas happens regardless of what we have prepared. And that actually can be joyful and good news. That Christmas doesn't depend on us doing the right things, um, buying the right items, um, ensuring that we send the right cards to the right people to keep them happy. Actually, the heart of Christmas is God coming to be with us in our lives, whatever is going on in them. That the light, the hope, the life he offers to each and every one of us is there, um, whether we think we're ready for it or not. All we have to do is accept it and take hope from it. So this Christmas, um, 
whatever you're doing, wherever it is, I hope it is a joyful and special celebration for you. But know that if things are awry or if things aren't right or if nothing quite goes to plan, that actually in the end, that doesn't matter. The hope of Christmas is that whatever goes on, God promises to be there with us in the midst of it. If that we would welcome him into our hearts and our lives. Have a blessed and wonderful Christmas, everyone.